Here we go. Go ahead. Yes, lesson 84. We're on. Yes. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I'm half asleep here. Okay, here we go. Where are we up to? We're doing the reviews. <laughs> and right. Yes. And we're up to lesson 84. These are the ideas for today's review. 67, love created me like itself. Mm. I am in the likeness of my creator. I cannot suffer. I cannot experience loss. And I cannot die. Wow. I am not a body. I would recognize my reality today. I will worship no idols, nor raise my own self-concept, the ego, to replace myself, my holy self. I am in the likeness of my creator. Love, <clears throat> love created me like itself. Can we stop for a second? Sure, thank you. Yeah. So mythical me is not that perfect love. When he capitalizes love, um, I know it's in the beginning of a sentence and you're supposed to capitalize it, but love, the love that we are is divine love. And I will share with you a direct experience of just having, you know, this up sweep of emotion and the recognition of all the loveliness around me and the gratitude that I felt in that moment. And I'm sure we've all had that. Um, the voice just said, this is your true identity. This is what you are. So when you get that sweep of gratitude and tears or chills, or maybe you're standing in front of a beautiful sunrise or sunset, you know, and there's just that feeling state that accompanies it. I want to encourage you to be mindful and present to, to notice the feeling state. We say Kareen's having this feeling. No, the love that we are is experiencing itself through this means that I've called Corrine love created it like love created me like itself you are love that is what you are and this is nothing more than a speaker box or a way for love to acknowledge express um, extend itself yeah so sis just going a bit deeper in that i can feel that you know yeah. thank you mm -hmm. So beautiful to have the experience of that. Yes. Right. Um, and and reflecting on the experience of that, mm. when we do have that experience, um, there's no sense of deprivation in it. Yes. Yes. Thank you. And instead, there's an expression of gratitude. We want to join with that love, like. There's so much gratitude and, and union immediately with that. Yeah. Yes. And we, we know whether we're conscious to put a label on it or not. That is what we are, that love. Right. And so can that love be threatened? Get the feeling state. It's, it's, a, it's a direct knowing that we are spirit. Mm. That love that we are can't be infected. It can't be hurt. It can't be in an accident. It was never born. It will never die. It sources God. You just get swept up in the, I am one with this, this feeling state of love, just enjoying and rejoicing in the extension of itself in creation. And, um, you know, you feel your invulnerability, you feel your innocence, you know that what you are is so at one with the source that, that the separation has never occurred. And your safety as that, you really get this direct, I can't, you know, without being material, nothing can touch you. And that's what the ego is terrified of. Yes. That's what the ego does not want you to remember. It wants because to. Because when we're in that state, even if it lasts for 
two, three seconds. Mm -hmm. When we're actually then we're joined, unified in that state as God created us, right? Yeah. The ego ceases to exist because the, you know, the ego and our holy self are mutually exclusive. So they don't coexist, even though the ego is an illusion. We, th we think through the ego filter that they both coexist. They don't. Mm -hmm. when, when we recognize we are this love yes. and we're vertically aligned, consciously allowing uh, the, the feeling state to flood us, right? Then the ego ceases to exist. That's right. That's right. Because the ego is love's opposite. So it's fear. And so, you know, it's not like when I was in that place of knowing and experiencing it, it's not like fears in the peripheral waiting to come in. It's like what we are can't even take cognizance of it. Fear is not on the playing field at all. It's not even a possibility. It's not a thought. It's not hovering, not a threat. It's just, it just doesn't enter in. That's how, you know, totally opposite, you know, you can't have fear and a little love and you can't be in divine love and have a little fear. They're mutually exclusive. And that's why the ego is terrified mm -hmm. of the divine love. It's why it's terrified of our brothers when we join truly and remember in that holy instant, no fear. It's the annihilation of the ego. Mm -hmm. And it's what we already are. It's not like we have to, you know, strive to become it. We're just dropping all the beliefs that we've placed on top. You are that perfect love right now. It's glory to behold and to experience. Now it's just keeping it. <laughs> That's it. That's the holy self. That's the spirit we are. Yes. But it's not about the body. No, no. You recognize this is this. I'm a I'm a, a Bose or a pioneer speaker box on the floor. This is a dusty old speaker box on the floor. I can pick it up and use it to express what I am. And I might not even use the body. But does that change what I am as love? No. So this is just one means for love to find expression here in an illusion. That's why Jesus could pick up the body, put the body down, pick it back up, take it up. It's a tool for the love that we really are, the spiritual being that we are. We cannot be contained or confined or limited. Impossible. Because love created you like itself. <laughs> well, okay. So the more we the more we realize that, and that comes as an experience through consistent forgiveness of everything that isn't true, yes. right? Yes. Then the more the, the the more we're going to come into the experience of not of, of not needing to use the body to seek pleasure mm -hmm. alone and apart from Holy Spirit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Up until that stage, until <laughs> until we realize we are the Holy Self, or at least begin to realize that we have another self. Yeah. And it is our only self, our real self. We're going to be using the body inappropriately oh, yes. to seek our completion through the body. We're going to be using its five senses. We're going to be using it to try and seek pleasure mm -hmm. to, you know, to, to uh, satiate this mm -hmm. bottomless pit of emptiness and worthlessness that we are, or we think we are, which we are through the ego, right? Right. If we believe we are the ego and not the holy self, yes. we're going on to another subject. And I was yeah, I was going to say that's okay. okay. That's Sorry, okay. no. But, but one last thing that just hit me was that you guys are helping us in this. In this is a speaker box that is useful. While I still find myself, we find ourselves in the dream of separation. That's the only way that in the dream that the ego says that you can communicate with another. So it's useful mm -hmm. until it's not. And the mm -hmm. more of us that recognize that we are love, that we are spirit, and that we don't need bodies to actually communicate, then the body will no longer be necessary. So it's going to seem to be a part of us. Um, while we need it but eventually we come to that perfect love that doesn't need a, a you know a, a symbol to communicate 
And that's what we came, that's what we started with a few days ago, <laughs> a few sessions ago about how we can feel you journeying with us, right? without having to actually see one another be in proximity or pick up a phone right mm -hmm. yeah that's proof that the body is just is not necessary for true communication okay mm -hmm. well, that was yeah. a big review <laughs> yeah, a big review but we are joined yes in the light of the unified mind that's it thank god yes Okay, 68. Are Love. we, um, sorry, which, oh yeah, 68, sorry, okay. Yeah, Lesson here. 84, review of 68. Love holds no grievances. Love that. Grievances are completely alien to love. Grievances attack love and keep its light obscure. If I hold grievances, I am attacking love and therefore attacking myself. Right. When we attack love, we attack what we are in truth. Because That's a powerful statement right there. Mm -hmm. Myself thus becomes alien to me. I am determined not to attack myself as love today so that I can remember who I am. Mm -hmm. And what is a grievance again? It says, I'll be okay if this were different. <laughs> if my brother were different, then I would be at peace. These are all ways in which we're saying something needs to be different in order for me to experience what? Truth, okay, goodness, a sense of safety. And yet it's only when we let go of the grievances, which are all ideas, um, beliefs that we've picked up, only when we're completely free of all those things that we've added on to, are we available to know ourself, our holy self, which is love. Okay. And I think a lot of the grievances mm -hmm. that we have, especially in our special unhealed, unforgiven relationships, yes. comes from the mistake, and it's merely a mistake. Mm -hmm but it's a very um, prolific mistake. Mm -hmm. And that is that we believe that love can make demands on other people. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. And then when they don't um, fulfill those demands, then we feel justified yes. to resent them. Oh, yeah. Yes. But love, with a capital L, makes no demands it just it can't that's it. because it's whole it's total that's really what uh, yes so beautiful do i need to go into this probably not too much okay, okay. I'll try that. Right. thanks sister trusting guidance you just asked yeah yes yeah these you. more specific forms for applying this idea that love holds no grievances would be helpful mm. this is no justification for denying myself with a capital S. I will not use this grievance to attack love. Let me not, let this not tempt me to attack myself. Beautiful. And to hold a grievance is to attack myself. Right. Right. Because I'm seeing something as it has never been. I'm, I'm seeing through the ego. I'm not seeing truly. Those are my grievances. Okay. Thank you, everybody. That was Love Holds No Grievances. And we will be back next time to start Lesson 85. Are we going to wash our clothes or change or Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Do our hair? Yes. <laughs> yep. Thank, Thank you, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye. Mm.